Clean season is here and one house in West Hartford is getting a lot of attention by taking a shot at Donald Trump. They built a wall around the place and more. News Ace Bob Wilson went to check it out and talk to some of the people stopping by to take a look. He's live for us tonight with more. Bob? Yeah, Darren, that's the first thing you see when you pull up. You see the giant wall, but this is a professor of history and he says, he, if you look closely, he's mocking both candidates and the idea behind it is just to get people talking and thinking no matter which side you're on. We've got the Trump wall. So, I mean, and it's, it was Trump's idea, not mine. I'm just following his lead. And so we have the wall, it's eight feet high, it's got barbed wire at the top, and then it's got various signs around it. This Halloween, there's extra spook and gore on North Main Street in West Hartford as a CCSU history professor has one of the scariest Halloween decorations in the city. It has everything from a screaming Donald Trump in his tower overlooking a wall on the Mexican border to a ghoulish Hillary Clinton riding a donkey bridled in chains. I'm an historian, I'm a teacher. I try and get people to think. They don't have to think what I think, but they just have to think. So Halloween is known as the scariest holiday of the year, but a lot of people saying the week after Halloween, election week, that's going to be a lot scarier. People from all over the state are coming here to take a look at the Halloween decorations, and they each have their own take on what exactly it means. We're from Canton, Connecticut, up the basin. We, we just were told about it by somebody who lives here locally. It sort of tells both sides of the story and the wall. I was very curious about that. I think it, that was the, uh, the part um, that was pretty unique. The traffic stopping display has cars lined up on North Main Street. Many people taking pictures, some laughing, others scared by the political landscape in the United States. He certainly has his um, angle on it, and I, I like how he uh, he says uh, to, uh, you know, love, not hate. I don't know what the future holds. I always, you know, I, I know this. My politicians will never, ever disappoint me. They will always give me something to work with. He says he starts playing that in August, has a lot of help, 50 hours worth from his kids. He says he lost them to college this year, so he didn't have quite as much help. Even has a friend saving up huge boxes for him, 50 feet of boxes in that wall. He says last year he did a tribute to the 50 years anniversary of the Vietnam War. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live, News 8.